Tiffinville and Glen Avon under 13s locked horns at Crumlin Leisure Centre. Both teams in their familiar colours. That's Cliftonville in the red and Glen Avon in the blue. The Lurgan Blues were the first to have a shot. However, this long-range effort didn't trouble Ross Regan in the Cliftonville goal. Down at the other end, good midfield play from Ryan Barnes and Kenzie McMullen led to a good opportunity for Sean Moore, whose shot thundered against a crossbar. The North Belfast side were playing with confidence and took the lead in the 20th minute when Michael Morgan evaded the challenge of the goalkeeper and had the composure to put his side 1-0 ahead. 1-0 to Cliftonville. With the wind in their sails, Cliftonville almost made it 2-0 when Curtis Murphy cut inside from the left. However, his shot was saved by Dylan Brake. Into the second half with the Reds winning 1-0 and it was Cliftonville that started it brightly. A good cross from goal scorer Michael Morgan caused havoc in the Glenavon defence but their keeper eventually gathered under pressure. The Cliftonville pressure continued and they deservedly doubled their lead when Stephen Bradley reacted quickest inside the box to pounce and fire into the bottom right corner. Two nil almost became three nil and Stephen Bradley almost added to his tally but Dylan Brake was kept busy and got down well to save. Most of the action in the second half was played inside the Glenavon half and Cliftonville's front men were combining well but couldn't add to the scoreline on this occasion. The Reds did eventually make it 3-0. O'Neill's clever through ball found Sean Moore who finished well at the back post. But full time it finished Glenavon nil. Cliftonville 3. Yeah, very happy. Um, thought that first 10 minutes Glenavon were well well in the game. They, they, they deserved to you know, be in the game. They were on top of us. In midfield they, they sort of were a bit stronger. Um, but after 10 minutes I thought when we sort of changed the positions a wee bit, um, we dominated the midfield and it made a big difference to the game. Um, and I thought overall we deserved it, you know. Yeah, it's second game. First game is a draw against Dungannon, so second game is good to get a win. Um, obviously another a load of our tough games ahead of us, um, uh, which the A division will be anyway, so looking forward to it. Disappointed, yeah, in the respect that we matched them really well in the first half. Second half, first ten minutes, uh, we done really well again competing. Just unfortunately, once that second goal was conceded, maybe the boys lost that wee momentum and maybe lost that wee belief in their heads and a wee bit of shape. And uh, but all credit to Cliftonville. That's you're in the A League now. That's the football against the standard you're against. So it's a great learning curve for the boys. That when, for example, when we uh, conceded the second, we almost got a we almost made a two one afterwards. And if it's two one, gives more belief to the boys. But it's a learning curve for them and one that hopefully we can that can stand us uh, well for the rest of the season.